Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Superior and thank you for watching Power to the Power. Where we are committed to an intellectual integrity and a moral honesty. And today we're here to talk about Mr. Cam Newton. Yes, Cam Newton. I, I haven't heard from him since he last played football. You know, I'm pretty sure he's been doing his thing. You know what I'm saying? Doing a lot of things in the community, what I found out today. So he's still doing his thug dizzle, but... He is in the news today for not for the good things that he's said, not for the good deeds he have done. Once again, he finds himself pinned up against women and being, you know, disrespectful in a sense. But in my humble opinion, as just another brother out there trying to make a living, I don't see what he said wrong. You know what I'm saying? Now, was it poorly communicated? Maybe was the interviewer uh, not really asking more deeper descriptive questions? Possibly, but I'm here to discuss on what he wanted to say. And, and let's go ahead and clear the air because I don't understand why everybody's attacking this dude. So let's go ahead and watch the video. Bitch is a person who's just, you know, Girl, I'm a bad bitch. You know, I'm doing this. I'm doing that. I, 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 I looked apart, but I don't act apart. Okay. Yeah. You know, and it's a lot of women who are bad bitches. And I say bitches in, in, in a way not to degrade a woman, but just to, to, to go off the aesthetic of what they deem is a boss chick. Mm -hmm. Now, right away, we already know, like, if you don't understand what he's talking about, like, of course, you know, Today, 2022, which, you know, is nothing wrong with a woman declaring that she's a boss. You know what I'm saying? I mean, guys have been doing it for centuries. Women can do things just as good or sometimes even better as men. So it's not really a complicated thing to understand. Women like to call themselves bad bitches. Like, that's what they want to be called. That's what they call themselves. We, we, we get it. But what he's trying to right here set up is... Women like to claim that title. You know, women who know they ain't no boss, who know they ain't no bad bitches, and they still want to claim that title. Just like if a man saying, you know, he he the king of this, he the king of that, you know what I'm saying? This is my book. It's like, nigga, you don't even have a job. You don't have two pennies to rub together, and you the king of, of what? You know what I'm saying? You, you the king of poverty, nigga. Like, that's what he's trying to set up is... There's nothing wrong with that, but he, he's trying to, to wrap it up here. So let's see what he has to say. Now, a woman for me is. And, and let, me, let me stop right there. This is the, probably the most key, most important thing he said in this whole interview. He said a woman to me, a woman for me. You know what I'm saying? He, he's not saying all women should act like this. All women should treat their man like this. He said a woman to him, his perspective, his definition, what he's looking for, what he was taught, what he was raised up, what he's looking for into a woman. For some reason, all these women out here are like, hey, I don't need to act like that. I don't need to do this. Like he ain't talking to you. You know what I'm saying? Like this is his perspective on what he's looking for in a woman. So. Uh, a lot of people miss that part. Handling your own, uh -huh. but knowing how to cater to a man's needs. Mm -hmm. Right? And I think a lot of times when you get that aesthetic of, like, I'm a boss bitch, like, I'm a this. I'm and for some reason, and, and I'm going to rewind it a little bit, but <laughs> for some reason, when women hear that C word, cater to your, for some reason, they think of, like, a slave or some sort of like dominance like hey he's the man and all you're supposed to do is cater to me or cater to your man and you know once again you know everybody hears that Beyonce song every time I hear the word cater you know cater to your man or cater I just think of the Beyonce song right away <laughs> you know what I'm saying but what's wrong with that what's wrong with a woman catering to her man not just any man not just any random man that shows them and say hey what's your name all of a sudden she needs to start catering to him what's wrong with the woman 
catering to her husband and vice versa. I'm pretty sure, depending on how that marriage is set up in the dynamics of that marriage, a man could cater to his woman. You see what I'm saying? But right now he's talking from a woman's aspect to a man. So, uh, man, a lot of people get hung up on these words for some reason. I'm a dad. No, baby. Like, like oh, I'm a see. boss, bitch. Like I'm a dad. I'm a dad. No, baby. Like, but you can't cook. <laughs> okay. You don't know. You don't know when to be quiet. Mm. You don't mm. know how to allow a man to lead. Oh my. Bad gosh. bitch. Okay, so right there, that's what people are really attacking Cam Newton for is those last three characteristics. You can't cook. Now, once again, he's talking about a definition for a woman he's looking for. I'm pretty sure if we was to ask him, hey, do you think all women need to be acting like this? You know what I'm saying? He could be like, he. I'm pretty sure this young man would be like, hey, women do what they want. Do what they will. And if a man wants you for that, you good. But I'm pretty sure he's saying for a woman that he's looking for, you you can be a boss. You 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 can be out there doing your thing, making your money, but at least know how to cook. You know what I'm saying? That's just a characteristic he's looking for. Uh, no no when to be quiet. <laughs> every <laughs> every conversation needs one person listening and another person talking. You know what I'm saying? Like it's really weird that. I would have to explain this. You need to listen while I speak. And after I speak, you talk and I should listen. I'm pretty sure once again, if the person interviewing Cam Newton be like, hey, do you think, are, are you saying all women don't have a say in their marriage or don't have a say out there in the world? I'm pretty sure he would say, that's not what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? He's talking about women who don't know how to shut up, who just talk all the damn time, don't want to hear nothing, don't want to be taught nothing. All they doing is just this all day long and just keep talking and just keep going. It's like, baby, then, then, yeah, keep it here. Shut up and let's have a conversation. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I understand that. I don't want to be with a woman who just don't know how to just shut up. You know what I'm saying? So, that's not hard to understand. And let's see what else he says. Okay. You don't know you don't know when to be quiet. You mm. don't know how to allow a man to lead. Mm. That right there. Woo. Boy, Cam Newton, boy, he he knows the words to say. Don't know how to let a man lead. Now I'm a Christian. Now, you know, this could be different from for different folks, but from what I was taught as a young man is a man is the head of his household. You know what I'm saying? If a family fails, if the kids ain't eating, if there's not a roof over your family's head, it is the man's fault. You know what I'm saying? The man's supposed to be going out there and providing by any means necessary. You know what I'm saying? To take care of his families, to make sure his family is safe. Now, once again, all marriages are different. Not all marriages should be like mine. Not all marriages should be the way that Cam Newton sees it. But just depending on how your marriage is structured, if your man is the one leading, let him lead. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's nothing wrong with letting your man lead as long as he has you to support him. You know what I'm saying? Now, once again, I'm pretty sure if I was interviewing Cam Newton, I would dig a little deep. But like, hey, with a man leading, what is the woman's role? Do you think a woman has a say so on, you know, what house to live in or what neighborhood to live in or, you know, whatever questions come up in the marriage? And I'm pretty sure hoping <laughs> I'm hoping he would be like, yeah, you know, what I'm saying. But the man is the leader. If there's too many chiefs and not enough Indians, that's when things just go crazy because one person wants to go left and another one wants to go right and things never get resolved. So it has to naturally be a leader in someone's marriage. If nobody's leading, then, you know, what the hell y'all doing? You know what I'm saying? So it's nothing wrong with a man leading if that's how their marriage is structured. But for some reason, people are, <laughs> they're taking these words and, and, and being extremely sensitive about it. And it's like, first off, first off, 
he ain't talking to you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like Cam Newton is a handsome young man. He's still young. I'm pretty sure he still got some money. Hopefully, you know what I'm saying? And, and I'm pretty sure he can find a woman that fits his needs. And all these, you know, reaction videos that I'm seeing from these women that's like, oh, you know, I don't need to cook. You know what I'm saying? I do this like, well, he's not talking to you. So what what you arguing for? Why, why are you trying to attack somebody for them expressing their own uh, interest in a woman? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm 5'10". I don't want no woman who's six feet tall or 6'5". You know what I'm saying? That's my preference. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how to cook. I hate cooking. I don't have the patience to cook. So I made sure I found me a wife who knows how to throw down. You know what I'm saying? Like... Those are things that you look for and what a marriage should be is you know your strengths and you know your weaknesses. You need to find a partner who can go ahead and have the strengths that match your weaknesses. You know what I'm saying? Like, why is that so hard to understand? And yes, I'm pretty sure, you know, like I said plenty of times, if we was to ask Cam Newton, you know, what is your role as a husband? Would you cater to your woman? Hopefully, he says, hell yeah, I would. I would spoil her. I would, you know, romance her. And I would do this, that, and the third. And But for some reason, you know, we take this 55-second clip and we just say he is, you know, a no good. He's attacking black women. And he's, you know, being, you know, against women. It's like, he's not. Just take two seconds. No, no. Just take one second step back and one realize he, he nine times out of ten he ain't talking to you and then if he is talking to you that's what he's looking for in the woman so you better go slide in his dms and see if you can you know just just get get with them damn it